In this video, we're going to talk about the Transform tool in Forger. This is the tool that you will need to use whenever you want to move, rotate, or scale entire objects or parts of them. It has three modes, which you can change from the sidebar buttons. In the Translation mode, you can drag from the different axis handles. This action will apply the same axis translation to the mesh. Doing so from the central handle will translate along the view plane. In the rotation mode, if you drag from the different axis rings, it will apply the same rotation to the mesh. Similarly, doing so from the outer ring will rotate along the view plane. In the scaling mode, dragging from the different axis handles will apply the scaling separately. Doing so from the central one will perform uniform scaling. Using these tools with unmasked meshes will affect the entire mesh, but if a mesh is partially masked, it will only affect unmasked vertices. Sometimes it is useful to adjust the pivot point so it is placed where we need it. We can do this by pressing the alternate shortcut while using the manipulators. As long as the shortcut is pressed, the transformations applied to the manipulators will not modify the mesh. There is another way of adjusting the pivot point, and that is by using the masking shortcut. If we press the masking shortcut and touch on the selected mesh, the manipulator will snap to it. Then, while keeping both pressed, we can adjust the direction of the axis. If we press the smooth shortcut while we are adjusting the direction of the axis, the manipulator will snap to the closest 90 degree angle. While snapping the manipulator, this masking shortcut based action will also create a topological mask if it finds a valid loop near the pivot. This can be convenient, especially for meshes that have good topological flow as it can help pose them. If further pivot tweaks are needed so the pivot point is not lying exactly on the surface, we can use the alternate shortcut to apply additional adjustments. It is sometimes helpful to mirror the manipulator to see things from other sides, and we can do so with the mirror gizmo button. Finally, we can see that in the tool panel, there are some extra options that will allow us to choose whether the masking snapping alignment mode is set to normal, or view to ignore symmetry, or center the pivot in various ways. You can always tap and hold on to any option to know more about it. If you like this video, please let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like it.